The hot weather of late summer does nothing to cannas. Cannas love the heat, the humidity, the occasional rainfall, soggy soils. They take almost anything our climate can throw at them and thrive here in the deep south. However, there is a major issue for us to grow cannas, and it's a pest problem called the canna leaf roller, and it is prevalent. If you grow cannas, you're just about going to see the canna leaf roller at some point or another as you grow them. Now, the symptoms are very obvious and striking. Notice these leaves that are brown. This is where the caterpillars have fed on the young leaves, and then as they get bigger, they chew holes in the leaves. If a big caterpillar chews up a canna leaf while it's still rolled up and young, the result is an odd interesting holes in a, in a perfect row as you see right here. Now this canna leaf roller is very difficult to control because they feed right down in the plant. Systemic insecticides like acephate or metacloprid can be used on these. If you're an organic garden, you can try using Bt, but it's hard to control them. Now, one other thing about cannas this time, they've been blooming all summer, and you need to remember that once a canna shoot blooms, it doesn't bloom again. So feel free to go through your planting of cannas and prune out these shoots. Just reach all the way down to the ground and prune them out right down here and take them out of the bed. That will provide nice room for fresh new shoots to come up and bloom. Canners are beautiful, but you have to watch those canna leaf rollers. Forget it growing. I'm Dan Gill with the LSU Ag Center.